Welcome to the Heuristic Lab video tutorial on usability and views. In this tutorial I will show you important aspects of the UI and how to use it to effectively work with Heuristic Lab. After opening the Heuristic Lab optimizer, you are greeted with the main form window and the start page that briefly explains basic functionality. On the start page you also find several samples in the form of pre-configured algorithms applied to certain problem instances. You can double click on any sample to load it. The sample is then displayed as a new tab next to the start page tab. You can switch tabs by clicking on them, but more importantly, you can arrange these tabs in many possible ways. You can put them side by side by clicking and dragging them to one of the docking icons in the center. Or you can dock them on the left, unpin and collapse them. The screen can be split many times and in many ways. In Heuristic Lab, views are a composition of other views, which may again be a composition themselves. For instance, in this algorithm view, the Problem tab page houses the view for the problem, and in the problem, there is the view for the problem's parameters. The view for a parameter is then shown in the Details box, which in turn contains the view for the parameter's value. Such view components are often reused. On the Parameters tab page, there is a view for the algorithm's parameters. This is the same view as the one that showed the problem's parameters. In general, in Heuristic Lab, any item, such as for example a parameter, can be opened in a new view by double-clicking on it. Note that it is still the same item that is now visible in multiple views at the same time. Changes will be synchronized between these views, for example, Changing the maximum generations to 5000 in this case will also update the parameter value in the algorithm view. Another feature in Heuristic Lab is the availability of different views for the same item. The just open sample algorithm can be executed and a quality chart will be generated in the results. If you right click on the view host icon and switch the view, you can also watch the chart as a matrix that can now be copied and used in any other application such as for example Microsoft Excel. If you switch back to the chart view, you will notice another icon below the view host icon that allows to configure its appearance. Double click this icon and you will get the option to configure each of the lines, allowing you to change their appearance or show them on a secondary axis. The chart itself and the axis ranges can also be customized that way. The view host icon has another purpose as it acts as an anchor for the item itself. If you double click the view host icon, the item will be shown in a new view that can again be aligned in a docking environment. Furthermore, if you create a new problem, the view host icon can also be used to drag it into the problem tab of an algorithm. Note that the drag and drop operation by default creates clones that can be independently configured. On the top of the Heuristic Lab main form, you find several useful menus. In the View menu, you find options to show or hide the start page, the clipboard and the operator's library. The clipboard is an element in Heuristic Lab that can take and save certain items that you may frequently want to use. If you drag an algorithm to the clipboard and click the Save button, the item will be automatically loaded the next time you start the optimizer. Double-clicking an element in the clipboard opens it, but note that you must then save the clipboard again if you make changes to the items therein. You can also add the item in the Currently Active tab to the clipboard if you click on the Copy to Clipboard action in the Edit menu. The Operators library contains all operators grouped by plugins. These operators can be used to model new or extend existing algorithms. How to work with these operators is the topic of the How to Create Custom Algorithms video tutorial. In the Edit menu, you may find two additional and useful actions. The first action, Create User Defined Algorithm, allows you to turn any algorithm in its present state into a user defined algorithm. Only user-defined algorithms can be modified and extended, so if you want to build upon an existing algorithm, you can configure it first and then use this option to modify it. The second action that I want to explain here is called Create Experiment. If you click on this item, a dialog will appear that will ask for the number of repetitions after which an experiment is created that contains the previously selected algorithm. 
this experiment can be further extended by cloning the algorithm and changing the parameters. This concludes the usability tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and that you can use the presented concepts to effectively work with Heuristic Lab.